of inviting honorable guest Sri Pornala Lakshmaya to address the gathering. Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Hyderabad, India. Distinguished guests of the Jazz and ladies and gentlemen. This is an age of specialization, what I consider. And coming before you, trying to talk is totally, uh, for me, the most difficult task. In the age of specialization, only politics or a politician is made an exception, I believe. Because he is called for various aspects and various deliberations and various sectors and try to impress upon the people who gather, who deliberate. Those who are experts in their field, obviously it's the most difficult task for a politician like me either to address or to give you solutions. On the contrary, I would always be happy to hear from you your solutions to formulate and frame a policy that will assist you and help you. In that direction, I may be saying few things. Beyond that, I don't think I'll be able to impress upon you about my knowledge of biotechnology or genomics or other aspects that what you will be deliberating uh, for the next three days uh, in this uh, place. Sometimes the advancements in biotechnology and related science amaze me. You can take the nucleus of a cell from an organism and implant into a, an egg cell and create a photocopy of the organism donating the cell. Isn't that really amazing? In Hindu epics, I have heard of Agni Deva using his powers, creating a clone of Sita, and now the humans have realized that the level of power and after eons, that Zygas, using science and technology, what's, what God, gods have done, it's really amazing. India is a unique nation with great human genetic diversity and great biodiversity. It is a wealth by itself for all of us. In this context, genomics assumes great importance. This event facilitates the great minds across the globe to share their vision for the betterment of the mankind in terms of their innovative ideas. It is genomic technology that revealed genetic blueprint of human life followed by blueprint of many other organisms. Man for the first time in human history came to know what makes a human being and what controls the life. Let us start with the issue of the genetic resources and precious biodiversity, the need to conserve, to protect and utilize them on a sustainable basis is the need of the hour. Genetic resources are made to improve the agricultural productivity and are the vital components of the global economy. The accelerated progress of information technology has completely transformed the research in life sciences. The focus on genome technology has made it still more relevant to establish very close linkages between computers and experimental biologists. Our objective of these deliberations, I feel, that's what I feel, as a matter of fact. And you are here in Hyderabad, Andhra Pradesh, India. Most of them, some of you are from other countries. I am sure you will see what Hyderabad, what Andhra Pradesh, what its hospitality, what it stands for, what it is today, what it was yesterday. That's what you are going to see in the next three days. I am really happy uh, to welcome you and taste the hospitality of the state of Andhra Pradesh and Hyderabad, the history and now the present infrastructure, present facilities that what we created by this government uh, is a testimony to the commitment of this government to make it even much bigger and larger for the convenience and for the facilitation of all of you who are coming with uh, innovative ideas. As a matter of fact, the state of Andhra Pradesh has the largest talent pool in the country. We have scientists and engineers coming out 
more than 300,000 from every year from the universities of this state, which is about 30% of the country. As a matter of fact, gentlemen, I can bring one fact to your notice. In information technology, out of three information technology experts in the world, there is one from India. Out of three Indians, there is one from the state of Andhra Pradesh, Telugu speaking. It's a matter of pride for all of us that you people have chosen the place to come and deliberate your issues. However, I would like to emphasize the thrust that you need to have. The thrust and emphasis I feel should be to identify diseases and genetic defects at affordable price. Earlier, it used to be very expensive, now it has come down, but still it has come down to the common man where he can afford of your research facilities and whatever we are doing. I congratulate the organizer, Mr. Jedala, Street uh, for having organized such a wonderful event. For this, the Information Technology Department of the State will coordinate with you, cooperate with you in doing what is required for you. Thank you. Jai Hind. Uh, I want to thank the organizers, Omit Group, uh, Dr. Ravi Kumar, Dr. Uh, Dr. Uh, uh, Kumar, and Dr. Babu, uh, Dr. Madhavan Nair, uh, and many others who made it happen. They invited me to come and attend this World Congress on Biotechnology. Uh, we'll talk about it a little late later, but it's my pleasure. Uh, I came to Hyderabad uh, a couple of years ago just for a day, as I didn't get a chance to see the city. But I'm back. It's a delight uh, to be here. And we will certainly enjoy the outstanding presentations of some of your really excellent scientists who are presenting on the subject of biotechnology. And we will talk about biotechnology a little later. Before that, I want to also thank the Honorable Mis Minister Lakshmaya. Uh, you know, in my experience, I have seen and heard, had a pleasure of meeting many politicians, but I have yet to see a politician who is knowledgeable, Mr. Lakshmaya, and not only knowledgeable on the subject of science and biotechnology, but also he means how it can help the people. Many politicians make speeches and go away but he is the one who wants to do something, who has done tremendous amount of work for this beautiful state of Andhra Pradesh. So let's give him thanks, many thanks to him. Give him a big applause for what he really has done. That's important. That's what the politicians like him are able to do for the mankind. And I'm delighted he's here. It was a pleasure to meet him. Uh, and I wish you all the great success. We are here from the NIH uh, for a sh short period of time, but I would be happy to work with some of you uh, to, to develop collaborations, to develop international collaborations between Indian scientists and the United States scientists to work on projects of mutual interest, which can benefit both of us. India is a great country. I'm an Indian. I've never lost being an Indian, although now I live in the United States, but I'm still Indian. My dil, mera dil abhi bhi Hindustani hai. So I'm still Indian, and, uh, and I'd love to work with more of you to develop collaborations so we can learn from each other. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day.